Hey, Nick. What? You know how most of our audience is pretty much college-aged, right? You know, all seven of them? <laughs> yeah. Well, I was thinking that since a lot of people in that demographic, all seven of them, like to celebrate St. Patrick's Day, we'd be amiss if we didn't do some kind of Irish skit on our release. What do you think? Well, do you have any ideas what we could do that's Irish? Well, we could easily just take one of the great Irish works of literature and do a short about it. <laughs> great Irish works of literature? <laughs> Good one. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, I'm serious, man. It would be awesome. Just one problem, man. There are no great pieces of Irish literature. That's because there are no great Irish writers. What? Hold on a second. What about C.S. Lewis? Or Richard Bernard Shaw? Or William Butler Yeats? Well, I hate to break it to you, but... They're drunks, all drunks. Don't let them tell you different. They die fucking hammered. We're snuckered as infinite. They're drunks, all drunks. And don't you ever forget it. You can call them writers and poets when they are illiterate. They're drunks, all drunks. And now they are irrelevant. Not slightly good or understood. They're altogether pestilent. Infinite? Really? My point is that all Irish writers suck, not that I'm any good. Obviously. I agree on the latter. But what about Samuel Beckett, Oscar Wilde, or Jonathan Swift? Unfortunately... They're drunks, all drunks, don't let them tell you the difference. And I fucking have it, we're stuck in a They're drunks, all drunks, and don't you ever forget it. You call the writers and poets when they are in They're drunks, all drunks. And now they are irrelevant, not slightly good or understood, but altogether present. How can you sing a song that awful while criticizing world-renowned authors? Well, it's not really hard. Listen. They're drunks, all drunks, don't let them tell you different. They die fucking hammered, we're snuckered as infinite. They're drunks, all drunks, and don't you ever forget it. You can call them writers and poets when they are illiterate. They're drunks, all drunks, and now they are irrelevant. Not slightly good or understood, they're altogether pestilent. Look, Nick, we're a fledgling theater company. We have to do something to try and expand our fan base. And I'm afraid to ask this, but here goes. What can we say to appeal to the St. Patrick's Day revelers? Well, on St. Patrick's Day, we could say... We're drunk, we're drunk, and we don't think a thing of it. We drink all day and drink all night, and now we get to sing of it. We're drunk, we're drunk, and we don't think a thing of it. We drink all day and drink all night, and now we get to sing of it. We're drunk, we're drunk, and we don't think a thing of it. We drink all day and drink all night, and now we get to sing of it. Now we get to sing of it. Now we get to sing of it. This is quite possibly the stupidest song we've ever done. Oh, and that's saying something. Ugh, alright, fine. We're drunk, we're drunk. No, 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 we're starting over now. God damn it. They're drunks, all drunks, don't let them tell you different. They die fucking hammered, we're snuckered as infinite. They're drunks, all drunks, and don't you ever forget it. You can call them writers and poets when they are illiterate. They're drunks, all drunks, and now they are irrelevant. Not slightly good or understood, they're altogether pestilent. We're drunk, we're drunk, and we don't think of it. We drink all day and drink all night, and now we get to see it. We're drunk, we're drunk, and we don't think of it. We drink all day and drink all night, and now we get to see it. We're drunk, we're drunk, and we don't think of it. We drink all day and drink all night, and now we get to see it. Now we get to see it. Now we get to see it.